My name is John Johnson. I'm a second year medical student, an artist from Greenville, Mississippi, and I typically capture my home community and family. And I've recently created a photo project called I Can't Remember What I Yelled Back. After the murders of Ahmaud Arbery and George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, there was this big rush in social media and I wanted to engage with it and I wanted to post things about it, but I just felt so useless while I was doing it. I felt like I wasn't actually making a difference. And I was creating these photos initially as like a catharsis, like it was just a way for me to get all of these emotions out. But once I looked at all the photos that I had taken, I realized that this was actually a project and this was actually my own form of protest. I titled the photo series, I Can't Remember What I Yelled Back, after a poem that I woke up out of my sleep to write one summer morning. The poem goes, one night after a high school basketball game, I was standing outside the school with uh, two of my friends, and on a distant off-road, five to six white children yelled, niggers. I can't remember what I yelled back. That poem was a microcosm of what so many black Americans have to deal with in this country. It's people being so hateful towards us, knowing that there won't be any repercussions for that hate. The photographs have resonated with people in a lot of different ways that I couldn't have even anticipated. Some people resonated with the photographs because of the Southern landscape. Some of the people resonated with it because of the interactions between the parents and the children. So I think it was really refreshing to see like that human experience really resonating with everyone and it became more universal than just about my personal experience. My favorite photograph is definitely the one of my cousin standing on the crate. And I think it's, it's my favorite just because that photograph is a microcosm of the entire project for me. It's so ambiguous, like the expression in his face, you can't tell if it's sorrow or if it's resolve or confusion or an attempt to understand. And I feel like that's a more accurate representation of how I feel. I wanted to make sure not to lean too heavily into one emotion or the other because it's not always anger, it's not always fear. It's a, it's a combination of a lot of different things and, and sometimes it's joy. So I wanted to make sure that all of those emotions were captured 